I used to teach high school. I taught at Willowbrook High School in Villa Park, and I taught English to juniors and seniors in high school, and I taught the upper class, the, the AP track, as well as the kids who may had a different career option other than going to college. And because I went from high school to college to the classroom, I didn't feel I had enough real world experience. So I would take odd jobs working for different people, doing things that I would teach my students to do. Reading, writing, writing for publication, writing for a variety of audiences, researching, proofreading, all the different things that I wanted my students to learn. Well, along the way, I met a man by the name of Denny Hastert and his chief of staff, or deputy chief of staff at the time, Mike Stokey. And they called and said, hey, would you want to come interview for a district director position within the congressman's office? And I said, no, I don't necessarily care about how bridges get built or how roads get built. I know they're important, but that wasn't necessarily what I cared about. And they said, well, would you want to go help out in the campaign office? And I said, absolutely. So I started out doing fundraising for Denny and helped with a lot of his local events. And that was in the summer of 98. And then in 99, he became speaker. And they said, well, why don't you come work in the campaign office? Um, we have to raise a lot of money and we have to ramp up. He's speaker. And I thought, why not? It'll be a good two-year gig and I'll have a great adventure. I'll learn some things and I'll go back in the classroom. Well, that just never happened. <laughs> so since that, I've never looked back and I love fundraising and I'm very grateful to Denny for the opportunity and the experience.